Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we are back on a follow-up to the last Pro Presenter video. And today we want to talk about arrangements and how powerful this is to make your work a lot easier. So let's go ahead and cut directly over to Pro Presenter. All right, so we're here in Pro Presenter, and I have glory to his name to him already in the system, leveraging the how we added it in the previous video. And I'm using the keywords so that it split everything into verse one through four and then the chorus. Now, traditionally, when we sang the song, at least when I did it, we did verse one, then the chorus, verse two, chorus, verse three, chorus, verse four, chorus. Now, that would be very tedious and you could copy all that and put it in order in your document. So if I had it here, I could come in here and put this chorus behind every single line here and then import it and then it would be exactly the way I want to. But why do that? Um, you wanna save yourself some time. So that's where arrangements come into play. If we come up here and click the little arrangements button here, you have the master. So for me, the master would be, I put in the traditional how I just cut and paste this or typed it in. Now, instead, as you see, it has separated all of our groups at the top. So I want to come in here and say, I'll call this new arrangement traditional, because typically this is how this song would be done. And my mic keeps falling down. So as you can see, it copied everything down here and it doesn't look any different, but I can come in here, take the chorus and drag it to each location. And now, it has automatically put everything where I need to. So instead of me editing all of these sections, I only have to edit the group. And then the group can be sorted in any direction. Say, again, as a choir director, say I want to do something unique and maybe I want to do verse one, two, then chorus, then three chorus, then verse four, then chorus. I can make any arrangement that I want in this. Now, the powerful thing with this, this isn't just for songs, arrangements can go for anything. So let me show you what we can do. Let's make a new presentation and let's call it intro outro. Now I'm going to go ahead and leverage some of the assets from the OBS bundle. And if I zoom out, you see there's a version two coming. So be on the lookout for that. So we're going to use our original ones. We'll go to starting and I'm just going to drag all of this stuff here just as an example. And let's overwrite all of these. And then I'm also going to bring in my ending one. All right. So now we have a bunch of these. Let's get rid of this first one. And I'm going to right click on these first and make these in groups because by default it's going to be one unified group. So let's right click on this one and we're going to make this a new group. And where is my new? We're going to do edit and we're going to call this um, pre-service. And then we're going to, I don't know, we'll call this one ending. And I'm just going to make up a bunch of these. So I'll just say, uh, well, actually, let's pull in some other ones so we can actually leverage this. Let's do our online giving. And I'm just going to use this because this will make this easier to use. And let's go and remove some of these. And I'm going to add one more and I'm going to use my technical issues one. All right. So we got a bunch of these. So let's go ahead and do this. Name this group here. Um, giving, oop, gave me a crazy name. Let's edit that again. We'll just call it just giving, not giving pre-service. And we'll right click on this one, name this group, and I'll just call this one issues. And then I'll have this one called standby. All right. So what we pretty much did is made these into groups, just like those verses. So now if we go into an arrangement, we can now arrange this as a master 
presentation. So think about this. You can make a presentation with all of your graphics for the beginning of service, in the middle of service, announcements, and at the ending of service. And then all you got to do is make an arrangement. So let's make an arrangement called um, intro. Now, what do we want to have during the intro? We want to have our, we don't want to have our ending. We don't want to, well, we might want to have technical issues just um, there. And maybe you want to have online giving and standby. So you can rotate through all of these, but then let's make another one called outro. And then we don't want pre-service. We just want our ending video to play. And we still want to have technical issues. We might want not, not want to have online giving. We don't want to have standby. And now you've made one presentation, but you have a different arrangement. So now if we come in here and go to our regular um, service outline here under default here and say, this is our stuff here. We can come in here and hit control F. We're going to go to our intro outro and see it set as outro. So we can move this here, but then also move it at before service. So now if we come in here, we're going to change this arrangement to intro. So now you see here, in our outline, our digital pr church program, we're using the same presentation, but we're using the intro arrangement here. But then at the ending, we're using the same presentation, but we're using the outro presentation. So I hope that helps. And again, let's go ahead and add um, glory to his name since we just did that song. And as you can see, there's our traditional version of it. So hopefully that helps you that you can leverage arrangements to make one presentation, but then arrange it in different ways, whether that's music for your choir. So again, you can put out an entire song of multiple verses, and then you can pick and choose and make an arrangement that's going to be applicable for that Sunday or for that choir, or you can make, I've done this again with announcements. Say I have, I can make an announcement for the entire month and say, communion is only one time a month. I can make an arrangement for first Sunday of the month. And then that will be the arrangement of the announcements that I put in there. And you can leverage this in tons of ways. So hopefully that helps on how you can learn a little bit more about ProPresenter to make your workflow with your media ministry a lot easier. Let me know if that helps. If you're using arrangements, please let it know down below because maybe there's a different way. I didn't even think about that your view and how you're using it can help other ministries who are using ProPresenter. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video. Later. Bye.